In this demonstration, we'll show how to merge data from two incompatible claim systems, combine that with data from various other sources, and then visually analyze all that data to identify patterns indicative of fraud. Here we can see an Excel spreadsheet with data from the first claim system, where you'll see that roles for each entity are specified in rows in a single column, where these roles include beneficiary, claimant driver, and so forth. In the second claim system, data is structured differently, and for example, roles are specified in a series of dedicated columns. By the way, all the data in this demo is fictitious, and though DataWall can handle vast amounts of data, here we're just using some small example data sets. In DataWalk, you load data in whatever format it's in, and we'll drag the first Excel file onto the DataWalk canvas. DataWalk suggests data types for each column, and we can check and change these as desired. We can also change the way data will be displayed. In this case, the suggested data types are all deemed appropriate, and we hit save in order to import and configure this data in the system. And this data set is now loaded, and we can see that this set includes about 48,000 data records. Now, I'll mention here that we're using Excel files for this simple demo, but in practice you can load data into DataWalk in various ways, including pulling data from databases, or using ETL or other data movement tools to place data into DataWalk drop folders, with the deltas then being loaded into the appropriate data set when desired. We'll eventually want to merge this with data from another claim system, so we'll go ahead and create an extract of entities using the fields of Role, SSN, and EIN. We give this extract a name, Entities, and we hit OK to create this extract. And now we see that this extract has been created. Now, we had previously loaded the data from the other claim system through the same process. We're just skipping all that here in the interest of time. For that system, we structured a data set for each role, claimant drivers, attorneys, and so forth. And now we want to merge these two sets into one set of unique claims. Once we have normalized the column headers in each set, we can do this with a simple click of a button. So we first select the two sets, and then we merge these sets. We name the new combined set, and we use a couple advanced options which allow us to use the new combined set along with all its previous connections while hiding the clutter of the two sets we've now combined. We then hit OK. And now we see that the two previous claim sets have been replaced with a new claim set that has combined the two. Now we'll do the same for roles to combine them into one set of entities. And now we see that we have a single claim set with 118,000 claims connected to a single set of entities that contains 242,000 objects. To make this a bit more visual, we can change the icons of both of these sets. And now we have a simple visualization for our combined data sets. Now, we've been doing all this in a data walk facility called the Universe Viewer, and we can easily add and connect another data source. This one is a list of our brokers. We import this data set, and now I'll connect this set to the claim set using the social security number. And now we have three data sets ready to go. Now we fast forward a bit, where we've used the same processes we showed earlier to expand our environment by adding and connecting various other data sources, such as policies, vehicles, events, and so forth. We see that we have 118,000 claims, 242,000 entities, 19,000 brokers, and so on. At any time, we can easily examine underlying data in any set. Now this Universe Viewer environment is not only for importing and structuring data for analysis, this is also the environment where analysts can easily do powerful visual querying of this data by filtering on data sets and connections, and by traversing the environment. In DataWalk, you can easily generate analyses, which you can use as rules. For example, we see that the average rate of claims concluded to be fraudulent is 4%. We can easily create an analysis to identify all brokers who have a rate of fraudulent claims that is above 4%. To do this, we simply set filter on fraud ratio greater than 4%. Now that we've created this analysis, we can save it and we'll give it a name of fraud ratio above average. This analysis, which we'll use as a rule, 
is now displayed in the DataWalk Instant Analysis panel. Here we see all the saved analyses that were created by our analysts, and now both experts and non-technical users can rerun these analyses simply by pushing a button. The Instant Analysis facility is available both on desktop and mobile devices. We'll also note here that you can set alerts on any of these rules or analyses, such that you can be proactively notified if they are triggered or if there are changes in a result set. So now we'll wipe the slate clean and do another analysis. In this case, we want to look at claims that were reviewed by adjusters who had not actually been assigned to those claims. We start by setting claims as our main set. Now, we're specifically interested in those claims that were reopened, as that may indicate there were hidden issues that were not identified the first time. And we have around 23,000 of these. Those 23,000 reopened claims are connected to 100,000 guidewire logs. There are two connections between the guidewire log set and the claim set, and we specifically want those that were flagged as unassigned. We can get this by disabling the second connection between these two sets. Now we can profile the guidewire logs, and we filter out only those claims that were reviewed. That leaves 87 logs and 81 claims, which are connected to one specific loss adjuster. This may indicate fraudulent activities consisting of payments served by loss adjusters to bilk more money from the insurer. We look at information about this adjuster, and we see that he is James Mumaw. We see that the average fraud ratio for all adjusters is 3.6%, but here James is at 8%. We conclude he's suspicious, so we'll put him on our blacklist. We can save this analysis, we give it a name, and if we want we could add a description, and now that analysis has been saved. With DataWalk, you can easily create and modify scores, which are based on saved rules and analyses. In this example, we'd like to review and tune a score that is producing too many false positives. So we see that we have previously set up scoring for suspicious claims, and we can see that this particular score assigns weights to various analyses, such as a car repair shop that has had more than two suspicious claims in the past year, accidents involving newer cars, and so forth. Now we want to look at the highest scoring claims, and we see that there are 60 scores of 25 or higher, and over 800 scores in the range of 20 to 25. So we'll select those two groups, then profile the claims associated with those scores, and then select only those that we deem to be false positives. Now we can easily check which rules were triggering these false positives for suspicious claims. To do this, we can modify our histogram view to just look at the various rules, and we see that the most frequently triggered rule for these false positives was percentage of rejected claims greater than 3.8%. So we can easily tune this rule. We first locate the rule, open it on the Universe Viewer, and we can see that the average ratio of rejected claims across all our brokers is 7.8%. So using this 3.8% on a rule is probably too low. We can easily modify this rule to change it to something like 10% and save this modified rule. Now we can create a new score by simply duplicating the existing score, assigning a weight to this new rule, and deleting the previous rule from the score. We give the score a new name, and when we hit save, the system will generate a new set of scores and make this available on the DataWalk Universe Viewer. So, in this demo, we have shown how multiple claim systems can quickly be merged, then visually analyzed to instantly create rules and scores that can be saved and modified as desired.